okay welcome to this new video and this video is an exercise so we're going to be making a water drop a realistic water drop image in coral draw using um using an ellipse the ellipse tool using transparency tool using shadow and using our pen tool so and we also we're going to also use our interactive field tool so most of what we have been learning here we're going to put it into practice now so first of all we need to put a box here that will be our background image to put a box here now to to create a box you can click on the, the rectangle tool here and create a box like this to fill in this area here and stretch it out like this but this is not ideal so if you want to create a box that will fill in the entire space the entire space you have here all you have to do is double click on the rectangle tool once you double click like this as you can see there's a box that appears to fill the entire um, printable area here next thing we'll go to our pick tool and we'll remove the outline of this image by right clicking on this um first box here once we right click we don't we don't have an outline currently so next thing to do is to take our interactive field tool and draw from one side to the other side like this now this first side we're going to put it blue like this this second side is going to be we'll put the same color and adjust it once we touch here we will to adjust the color so come here and take a darker blue like this then we'll adjust the image like this as you can see as you can see then we'll go back to our pick tool and here we have a gradient which is our background now next thing we are going to do let me zoom in next thing we are going to do is to create a cycle so if we create a cycle like this then next thing we are going to do this cycle is supposed to be transparent so uh like a water is that's representing our water drop so we can say that's transparent now we'll take our pen tool let's take our pen tool and on this other side of the cycle like this we are going to draw a curve i'm going to draw a curve like this we're still going to come back to some of these tools we are using but this is just for the sake of this lesson you can always come back to this video even after you watch other videos now after taking this curve like this we have made this shape so next thing to do after making this shape will be to make it white so we'll make this image white like this now we can power clip this image inside here but we won't use power clip now since we haven't actually learned about power clip so we won't use power clip here so what we we'll do from here is that as you might have guessed we we'll use our transparency tool so we'll go to our transparency and we're going to go like this like this so as you can see we we'll apply much transparency on this as you can see the bottom parts you see how it's showing yes that's what we need next thing we can have some other cycles we can have one cycle here we can have another cycle here and we can also have a tiny cycle here now let's rotate this cycle like so like this now all we have to do is make this one white remove the outline like this make this one also white remove the outline make this one white also remove the outline so what you do next your guess is as good as mine you go to transparency tool on this one here remember this knob we talked about here 
So you just increase the number, let's say to 40. Take this other one to, to this one is bigger, so let's give this one 50. 50. Okay, sorry, let me check. I don't know what is happening. Let's do it again. Take it to 50. Okay. And take it to 50. If you're having this issue that I'm having here, like typing a number and it's not uh, working, all you have to do is just turn the knob a little bit and just type the number and it will work. So this one, we can reduce it to 40. So, after doing that, next thing we are going to do is to remove the outline of this major cycle. So, we can remove the outline. We can also decide to give this one a color. Maybe we can also decide to give it this blue color like this and apply transparency to the major cycle like this. So, after doing this, next thing is to apply our shadow. So, we'll apply the shadow on... Our drop shadow on this big cycle not this small cycle not this cycle not this other one not this um not this um shape we made here this major cycle so you click on your drop shadow tool which is showing like this then you just click on the cycle and drag down So do it like so. As you can see, we can also change it up a little bit. Let's make sure our color is on RGB because I told you the black on RGB is more. So increase the black and. Um, So as you can see, you turn this knob here just to just for the feather, the feather effect. So as you can see, we have a water drop right here. You can also just touch the transparency here a little bit. Add more transparency here to make it look realistic. Or increase, just touch this one a little bit. Or you can decide to just instead of using just this knob like this you can just decide to have a manual stretch on the water drop like this so as you can see making it look more realistic as you can see so there's our water drop as you can see the shadow here and all this um, transparency effect we made is making it look like a real water drop. So what we can do, we can highlight everything like this. And we'll press Ctrl D. Ctrl D is duplicate. So if we do Ctrl D, we've gotten another one, which we can just reduce the size like this. Ctrl D. Like this, Ctrl D. So each one you do is going to be making different shapes because we are adjusting the sizes. So Ctrl D like this. So after you got this one, you can shift all these ones up and highlight everything. Okay, sorry, just press Ctrl D again and you get something like this. Ctrl D, get something like this. As you can see, you can only use this as a background image, and this file will be saved in. Um, I'll save this file in the projects folder so that you can practice with this file also. So, so this is our 
water drop image as you can see you can use this as a wallpaper if you want so as you can see this looks like a water drop and um, try out this tutorial if you don't understand it come back and see every single step and do it again and i'm assuring you you're going to get it and you like what you have done so um see you in the next video